Speechless Women, Dan and Robin here. It is another Friday Faves Food Day. And we're gonna talk about some of our favorites for busy women that wanna cook some fast meals at home, but keep that time investment really down. Mm -hmm. So I'll start here on, on my left with Organics Marinara Sauce. And Robin, one of the things we look for, what's the key ingredient we're always looking to avoid when we're buying prepackaged food? Two oils, soybean oil, canola oil. And in almost every jar of spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce, you will find that they use mostly canola oil. And you know, I don't want to be fanatical, but I'm getting a little fanatical about oils. And, and the truth is, you need to get these unhealthy vegetable oils out of your diet, and not to mention, you just need to get those omega-6s down anyway. So this particular brand you can find uh, in many grocery stores is called Organics. I know I get it at Vons here in California. Everything is organic. The extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, organic vinegar, everything is organic, so it's super simple. You wanna know some of the facts? 60 calories for half a cup. Most important thing, second to nutrition, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Hey Dana, I think the Organics brand is available at Vaughn stores and Safeway stores and any stores that are affiliated with them. Great, well similarly, I have another product I like, I get at Costco. This is called Victoria White Linen collection and it is again a marinara sauce looking at the ingredients now these ingredients are even more simple tomatoes onions olive oil salt garlic basil spices and a little bit of calcium chloride wow simple 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 and this one is delicious now not just for spaghetti i've made chili with this here's a fast busy woman recipe idea i take pre-cooked, um, what do we call our Angus burgers? Angus burgers. Angus burgers. <laughs> we call them Angus burgers. From Costco, I heat them up, chop them up, pour this in, add a bunch of variety of canned organic beans, and make a very fast chili Ooh. with a little bit of chopped onion, cilantro, whatever. I mean, serious, talk about a five minute chili, but it's homemade. Your turn. Well, I use one of my favorite ingredients, and we've used it before in the cooking show, is a julienne sliced sun-dried tomato. I like them when they're already sliced, so you don't have to do anything. Um, and I always look for just olive oil. So you're looking for the sun-dried tomato and just olive oil. Uh, Trader Joe's has a brand. This is by Bella San Lucci. And, uh, oh, molto bene. And you can find these at, at any grocery store. Um, but just check your ingredients. Look for just olive oil and sun-dried tomato. Most of them don't have just olive oil. Right. A lot of them have canola oil. Some of them have soybean oil. So look for the olive oil. I use this. I saute up vegetables. I throw a couple sun-dried tomatoes in. Uh, we'll, I'll make a pasta dish where I don't want to use a sauce, and I just throw in some sun-dried tomatoes with whatever vegetables I'm sauteing. And that is absolutely delicious. It adds so much flavor. Next thing I want to mention for busy, quick stir fries, this is a red curry paste. This one's by Thai Kitchen. Listen to these ingredients. You don't need a lot when you're using this because there's so much flavor in this. Red chili pepper, by the way, it's not spicy. It's a mild chili pepper. Garlic, lemongrass, Thai ginger, salt, shallot, spices, and kefir lime, which gives it a really yummy, um, I guess, I don't know, I would say effervescent, but it's not effervescent, but it just has that delicious flavor. Makes your dishes kind of Asian and Thai flavored. And then the last thing that I want to mention that I live with constantly, I can't live without, are these frozen herbs. These are cubed, frozen cubed garlic. This one is basil. I also can get cilantro too. You can get, these are from Trader Joe's. So the name of the brand is Dorot, but they sell them elsewhere. And you can get uh, other brands as well. Look in your freezer section. Um, and Why these over okay. the paste, the jars, all those other convenient? So we were using a garlic paste when I looked at the ingredients and it had a lot of chemicals and a lot of garbage in it. It had canola oil in it. Ah. So. I like this over the jar. The jar of garlic is usually, is pretty pure, but this tastes like fresh chopped garlic because okay. basically it is freshly chopped and frozen and it there's no preservative. It's just delicious. And you literally just open it up 
and they pop out individually. I usually pop two into my saute pan. And you just keep them in the freezer. And the basil is fresh basil as well, so it gives that flavor. So at the end of when I'm cooking, I'll throw this, the basil in at the end because I don't want it to cook into my uh, sauce because I like the taste of the freshness. Mm, I love it. Yeah, it's delicious. So that's Friday Food Faves for this week.